Thunberg correctly said, how dare you? And she was talking to me because I flew here in an aircraft and of course I can't justify flying again. So I'm very sad that I'll never come back to India. But we all have to take this extremely seriously. I've been teaching about climate change in England for the last 30 years and I've been watching the level of carbon dioxide rise and I said to my students, look at this, the carbon dioxide level has reached 370 parts per million and then the next year 375 parts per million and now last year it was 401 parts per million and it's still going up and still going up and the effect that that will have is completely out of our control. Not only are the temperatures rising in certain parts of the world very highly, they're going down in other parts of the world. It's more complicated than you think. And when it comes to the ocean, the ocean is swelling, it's, it's rising because of thermal expansion. And even if we stop today, that thermal expansion will continue for decades and decades. And countries like Bangladesh will be underwater all the time, not just during the monsoon. We are talking an absolute climate emergency. We're seeing the um, snow of the Himalaya that's demonstrated on the thing over there. That will gradually disappear to the other places, which are, will become deserts. We're going to see food supply shortage. I have four children, I have three grandchildren. I want to believe that they will still have the amount of food that we have today, but we can't be sure of that anymore. We can't be sure of that anymore. We already see all over the world the most extreme uh, typhoons of China and Japan this year, the most extreme hurricanes of the Bahamas and in America. This year, it's all becoming more and more extreme because there's more energy being kept inside the planet because the, the carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases like nitrous oxide and, and methane and chlorofluorocarbons and all the others, those are opaque to the radiation from the surface. So it stays there instead of going out into space. And our whole climate is getting more and more energy, which is driving more and more uh, weather systems. And it's going to get more, much more complicated. We can't control it. We, we have no idea of what it will do. And President Trump is saying, don't worry about it. You can do nothing about it. So keep driving your big cars and keep flying your aircraft and I've been guilty of being part of that so that's why I'm sad that, that this is my last time because it's so precious to me to be here and I, 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 I'm sorry unless I walk or I go in a train this will be my last time so to me it's very precious and thank you, thank you.